Okay, product schedules. So this is an org where I've already turned product schedules on and done some of the basic configuration to make the fields available. So the first thing I would then do is set up a product that um, has a default schedule. I suppose you don't need to have a default schedule, but it, if, it's, if you're going to be entering the same thing over and over, then it kind of makes sense to have it. So let's say we have just some widget that we are going to be um, maybe shipping to a customer on a regular basis. So let's say we're going to ship this uh, some number of units every month and we'll bill them quarterly for them. So the way you'd set that up is this might be some sort of widget subscription. And we will set up a default revenue schedule that, that says we're going to take whatever whatever amount we agree uh, to collect from them and we'll uh, bill them quarterly for it uh, over the course of a year, so four quarters. And we're going to um, ship whatever amount that we said we were going to uh, monthly over the course of 12 months, so one year. So we can save that. And I'm sorry, I have to check that box. Save that. And I'll establish a standard price for it. Just say they're like $20 a unit. And then I can go to an opportunity and add it as a product. So I'll go in here. I will add the widget. And let's say they bought 120 units uh, at $20 a unit. So we'll save that. And then if I look at this, I have added a related list, which gives you the schedules. And you can uh, see all of them. So this is showing uh, so every month. So on the 22nd uh, is going, then 22nd, 22nd is shipping out each one of these. And then on the revenue side, it is capturing that amount every three months, quarterly. And then uh, the way that you would track that then is you would build a report on these uh, schedule line items, line item schedule, I think it is. And, if I re and that's what I've done here. So if I refresh it, now I can see, okay, quarterly, I'm gaining a um, that much revenue. So that's kind of the basis for it. As uh, if if this default schedule doesn't work, you can uh, you can edit individual line items in here and make adjustments. Like let's say maybe you agreed that you're going to have some sort of setup fee. I guess you could do a setup fee as a different line item, or you could just say, hey, we're going to uh, initially charge you uh, five hundred dollars. Uh, right away and maybe you'll get that uh, recovered on the next uh, payment or you, I mean you can tweak this however you want. Uh, you don't have to do both revenue and quantity. You saw the, I had the checkbox that I could turn them on and off. Uh, you can uh, reestablish it. So let's say that is just completely wrong uh, and this is a completely custom one. You can just come in here directly and have it do the math to, to break it all up if you don't want to do it by hand. So that, now that I adjusted that, I can see the, the report if I refresh it. Oh, I guess it's in the same month. So I guess that didn't make sense or did I not save it? So revenue, yeah, it was, I think I, the way that I did it, I should have said that the first hundred dollars was in uh, the next month. dollars in the next month, save it. 
much. There you go. So that is, I guess, intro to product schedules.